Turning now to the state capitol in Austin, where lawmakers are tackling some controversial bills. The House Committee on State Affairs is considering two immigration bills that would give Texas more power to police the border. Chris Sadegui is live this morning with us. So, Chris, uh, they didn't wrap up discussions until a few hours ago. Yeah, Kara, late night at the Capitol, people testified past two in the morning on a topic that is always hotly debated, it seems like, in the legislative session. That is immigration, specifically two proposed bills in the Texas House. One of them is House Bill 20 that would create a new arm of state law enforcement specifically for the border. It would focus on building and maintaining the border wall and helping deter and detain undocumented, undocumented migrants that are coming across. Now, what's unique about this unit is it would employ civilians that have no criminal history and give them arrest powers once they receive state training. Texas state leaders have clashed with the White House on border enforcement, criticizing them for not doing enough on the border. It is supposed to be the federal government's domain, so this bill could be challenged in court if it is ultimately passed into law. The testimony at the Capitol included some of those that support the state taking matters into their own hands, while others, like this woman, voiced their concerns. People all over the state may be at risk of racial profiling because there is definitely not going to be adequate, adequate training as is currently in the substitutes language. Um, and that is going to put a lot of a fear in the community, um, especially, for example. And the other proposed bill is House Bill 7. That bill would create an entirely separate court system to handle these migrant asylum cases as well as any smuggling cases across the border. Tashara, back to you.